Today we are talking about some of the hottest Pokemon singles that are moving, and we're starting with some 151, which we haven't really touched on too much 151 recently. It's been a lot of surging sparse and prismatic evolution, a lot of hype there. Um, but Squirtle from 151 is up 49%, call it 50% in the past three months, went from 27 to $41, which is kind of wild. Um, on the one month chart, it's up 10%, so not as crazy in the past month. It's cooling off just a little. Um, last solds are kind of all over the place though. 36, 41, 24, 43, 40. Uh, so we'll see where this card ends up. A lot of cards from 151, like the Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, are kind of tapering down right now. And when I went to look, um, it wasn't all of them, right? Some of the lesser cards are starting to move up as well, and there's some more at the end of this video. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the Magikarp from Paldea Evolved. 25% in the past month alone. This has run up to $144, but something very interesting. Uh, I think this is a Japanese sale, so we'll exclude this, but two of the last solds were 178 and 175. That would be a really big jump for this card to go from 140 to 170s. There are 48 currently listed on TCG Player. 20% gain on the past month. We'll zoom out to the one-year chart. So at one point, this card was $55. It ran to its high at 150. Um, so if it surpasses this, it would be at its one-year high, uh, up to one, like 160, 170 would be one-year high. So uh, interesting card. Uh, to keep an eye on. Uh, artwork wise, really like this uh, artist. He did, also did the Giratina uh, and the new Magneton promo uh, from Surging Sparks. So uh, I like the artwork style. I think it's a cool card. Uh, Scarlet and Violet's crazy. The market's insane. So these cards can go anywhere at this point. Uh, we've talked about this Charizard uh, somewhat recently, I, I think. This is from Paldean Fates. And it's up 37% in the past month alone. Just a little measly 37 percent uh on the three month chart it's about 30 percent we'll zoom out to the one year so you guys can get a look so on pawn release this was a 160 dollar card uh, like pre-release went up to 184 and it went down to pretty much a hundred dollars was its lows so now being at 140 uh, some pretty significant gains there if it can get anywhere close to you know it's one year high it's all-time high essentially uh that would be very interesting with the bubble mew at like 170 ish uh, you know, there's room for this card to go. I personally, not that I don't like the Bubble Mew, I like this card more than the Bubble Mew. So that's just my opinion, though. So uh, artwork style, cool. So we'll, we'll see where this one ends up going, but it's on quite a bit of a run from 10, 102 all the way up to the 140s. Uh, we'll see where it ends. We'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, then we have the Omanyte from 151. This little bugger was elusive for me on my master set. Uh, one of the card shows we I went to, I think it was the Burbank card show. Nobody had it. Couldn't find it anywhere. Not a single copy in the whole place, which is wild. Uh, but it, it's, you know, it's it's an adorable card. I guess it just, I think a lot of people were master setting and just buying them out that, that weekend. Um, it's not a particularly rare card, but it is up 33% in the past three months. 36% in the past month alone, uh, going from a low 489. It did touch almost $8, and now it's uh, kind of around 7 We'll zoom out to the one year on here. Uh, seven, so it looks like it's just coming off its one year high. Last sold's pretty much seven bucks and six fifty uh, for the Omanyte. Um, so yeah, not uh, dollar wise, not big gains, but percentage wise, pretty big gains for that card. Then we got uh, another card from Crown Zenith, uh, the the Arceus V Star. Uh, this card is up. A, it's not as not as much. Right, it's still a gainer though. Eleven, almost twelve percent on, on the one month chart. On the three month chart, it's almost even. It's only up two percent. We'll zoom out to the one year. It had a big run up. It went to about a hundred dollars. At one point, it was as low as fifty, and now it's up to the sixties. However, most recent sale we're seeing seventy five, eighty four, all of the two recents, and everything below that's fifties and sixties. Although there was an eighty four here, uh, so this potentially, if this gets up back up into the eighties, um, that would be getting it pretty close, close-ish to its one-year high. Uh, it's nice to, I, these gold cards, like the four of them, stunning in person. This does, does it no justice. Um, so yeah, uh, Crown Zenith just printed into the ground. Uh, it might take a while for some of these cards to recover. Then we got another, another lesser 151 card, right? Illustration Rare, the Psyduck, 25% gain on the three-month chart, which at its low was at $10 and its highest point was 13. Uh, the one month chart shows about 20% gains. And on this one year, it's actually just came off of its one year high, which was at $14. Uh, 
Uh, Last Souls we're seeing 10, 9, 17, 13. So it's kind of a little bit all over the place for the side deck. Um, it does make sense that some of these 151 cards, like all the big cards were moving. Or like, well, first it was the Charizard, and then it was the Blastoise and Venusaur, right? They were moving up. Uh, so it does make sense that uh, some of these other cards are lagging behind. And, like, that does happen. Um, ooh, okay. Crown Zenith, my favorite card from the set. Uh, the Guaranteed in Gold. Uh, we were just talking about the Arceus. Uh, this one, not as, once again, not as crazy of gains, but 10%, 10.6% uh, 10, 10 on the past month. And on the three month chart, it's, you know, uh, about flat, almost down a percent. Uh, but in the last month, it's rebounding. In the last month alone, it went from 96 to 106. So cracking that $100 mark uh, for this card is kind of big. A year ago, you could have picked this up for 67 in its boom and went as high as 138 uh, with a high sale of 150. So seeing that this card crack above $100 is probably really good for the set. Uh, last sales we're seeing higher than that, the 120, 118, 118. So we'll see where this card ends up. Uh, once again, got to see this card in person. It really pops. And that set of four uh, for collectors is really, really nice set to have. Um, still 53% on the one-year chart, which is some pretty solid gains. Uh, you can see after it retraced, it set new highs in the $90. So uh, pretty, pretty solid gains there. Another card from 151, right? This is going to be a little popular theme. Um, as I was, you know, I hadn't... Like I said, I hadn't checked out too much 151 in a minute because I've been distracted with other stuff. Uh, but the Polyworld, 27% up on the three-month chart. The one-month chart, it's still up, for like 4%. Zoom out to the one-year. Uh, coming off of a one-year high right here at $15. Went down to 13 and came back up to 15 However, the last solds are seeing 18 and 18 on the two last solds. There's another 18 down here. So we'll see where this one ends up. Uh, Artwork-wise, I feel like this is a really underrated artwork from 151, where not as popular of a Pokemon, but I love everything that's going on in this card. Uh, super stunning card. So nice to see it uh, gain a little bit of value. I know the market's just crazy right now, so a lot of stuff's going up. Giovanni's Charisma's up uh, almost 13% on the three-month chart, which is some pretty solid gains. It was 10 bucks. It went as high as 13. Dollar-wise, like I said before, not not the greatest. 14% in the past month alone. I had talked about this card before, uh, the one month chart or one year chart's kind of messed up. Um, I talked about this card with the Team Rocket set. I know it's still a ways out, right? Uh, but I talked about this card being a potential to gain value just because of that set. We'll see what happens. It doesn't mean it will. Uh, it doesn't mean it won't, right? Plenty of time uh, before, before the Team Rocket set comes out. We're like Prismatics, not until January, right? And this is gonna be after that, so. Uh, we got some time, but uh, it's, a, it's a cool card. He's got his, he got the Persian chilling, and he's got his Master Ball in the background. Uh, so I do like this card a lot um, for just for vibes, I guess, kind of. Um, more 151. Uh, we got one more 151 after this. And then I promise that's it. 20% um, gain over the past three months for the Nitto King. Uh, I like this art. I like this artwork a lot too. I feel like this was kind of an underrated one as well. Not as nice as the Polyworld art wise, in my opinion. 10% up in the past month, um, almost a $10 card. Zoom out to the one year, see if this shirt's working, and it is. Uh, it's kind of flat-ish, just up 2%. This card has had some swings from $9 down to six, up to nine, down to its low right here, looks like it was 650. And last solds we're seeing eight, 850, 770, eight, 11, and 10. Um, we'll see where this card ends up. There's a lot of copies on here, 304 copies listed on TCG. So, um, you know, it's got some copies to move through, but, uh, it's decent little gains there. Then we have the Machoke, uh, which artwork wise, I do like, uh, the Machoke moving, uh, like, like the Astral Machamp carrying stuff, right? I mean, it makes sense. Uh, so I think, I think it's a fun card. Uh, 35% in the past three months in the past three, it was six bucks. It went up to 10 and now it's retraced off of that just a little. 14% uh, in the past month alone on the one year. It's actually up. It just came off its one year high at like about 10 bucks. So 12% gain there. Last sold is low. We're seeing 1250, 1250, 1240 on the Machoke. Now we're off of 151. Um, we talked about this card recently as well. This is the Gardevoir from Paldean Fates with the Bubble Mew popping off. Um, this was another card that I talked about saying had some potential and 17% in the past month alone, which is pretty solid gains. It went from in the thirties up to like the mid forties. The three month chart's actually down though. It was 
yeah, it was almost at 50 and then it ran down. It's, so it's, it's popping back up now. The one year at release, it went 68 and then it slowly went all the way down to this low at 38. 38 was too low for this card. Uh, popular Pokemon. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's pretty good artwork. So, uh, the Gardevoir, it's, uh, we'll see where it ends up, right? It's the third most expensive card from Paldean Fates, I believe. Uh, I like this whooper in the background, just chilling. He's just, um, so anyways, we'll see where it ends up, right? I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it at least back in here personally, like another $10 around 55. Um, I, I could see that for this card. Um, then we have, so this is a little different, some surging news. This is not as crucial, right? The set's not even out officially till tomorrow, but, um, this card actually had an uptick. You can see right here. Um, the reason I bring this up just because, so there are copies, multiple, multiple, multiple copies of this on eBay currently in the 300 range, but I just wanted to bring this up. Um, there was a buyout of this card. Um, eight copies sold yesterday, bought them all. Right. Uh, which, you know, there was only a few listed, right? I do not know if this is the person who bought them, but they have one copy for 700. Um, don't buy this for 700. If you're going to, I wouldn't, if you're going to spend that much money, just get one on eBay, right? You can spend in the 300s. Uh, but yeah, just this card did go up uh, 4%, which 4% from 299 is to 312. Uh, but the recent sale being 360. So yeah, all of those got sold out or bought out yesterday. And there's one listing at 700. So that is interesting. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, tons of these copies on eBay. I just wanted to uh, just make you guys aware, right? That somebody made a play on it, right? Um, so just keep an eye on that. That's why that's why this had a big spike right here, all these purchases. Um, then super random. I talked about this recently too. I was wondering this uh, Pikachu. Oh, I should add this to my watch list. Um, this The Pikachu, I said, whoever gets the first PSA 10 or the first however many, it's going to be crazy, potentially. Um, so this has six days left on the bids on eBay, and it's at 1,000 already. So we'll see how high this goes. This is the first one I've seen. Let me know in the comments if you guys have seen another one somewhere else. Um, but the Pikachu, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just watch this. I'm not buying this. Trust me, I don't know. No, 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 no. Um, I'll, not for 1,000. Uh, that is... That is too soon, too early. So I'll, I'm going to keep an eye on that card, though, just because I want to see where it ends up. Uh, just out of curiosity, being the first one um, that I've seen. I, there's probably some other ones. I don't know if, like I said, just haven't seen them on eBay. Maybe they're somewhere else. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, yeah, just touching on hot cards for the most part um, with some surging sparks in there, which was kind of surprising. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously enjoy daily Pokemon content. So do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.